Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to another review from us. This time we are having a good look at the AgriCision on track guidance system. A simple all in one receiver and light bar guidance system, to be exact. Now, with this, uh, with this particular review, I kind of feel a little bit late to the party because it has been around for a while now. It was originally launched back in 2017, but like a lot of products, it's had quite a few updates since then. Now, physically, I mean, looking at it like this, it hasn't really changed that much over the years. It's actually more the, the app development side of things which has uh, seen the most changes over the years. So that's what we want to kind of have a look at and uh, basically see where this on-track device is up to and see what it's like to use. But rather than do things logically and actually start with a bit of an explanation about the guidance system, we've actually already been out and used this. Uh, we've been out more with it with this tractor that you see behind us, this case uh, a HMX120 Maxim. So basically i did a typical bloke thing uh, i got this off agri-season they kindly sent it out to us i whipped it straight out the box chucked the instructions over my shoulder got it out the box stuck it on the bonnet downloaded the app and literally set two uh, and that was actually quite good it was really good to get a, a first impression like that just a, a true first impression of what it's actually like to use this uh, guidance system so that's what you're going to see in this video and then in another video, what we'll do, we'll take a closer look at this device. Uh, we'll look at some of its features and functions, what it's like to set up and that kind of thing. And then what we'll do, we'll try it out on a few other jobs as well. It's been, it was good to try it out mowing because you get a really good visual reference of what it's doing and what it's like. But I also want to try it out uh, on some spring work when it eventually dries up. In particular, I really want to try it out uh, fertilizer spreading because uh, I think that is where it'll come into its own. Obviously, unlike mowing with fertilizer spreading, you don't have that visual reference of where you've been, unless it's some sort of longish grass, you can see your wheel marks or something like that. But like I say, really want to try out that out fertilizer spreading with a cost of fertilizer at the moment. It could actually, uh, it could actually be a nifty little buy. So all that's come right now, we'll get stuck in uh, into this video where you'll see us mowing and trying out this device. So yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. Girls, time to try out this uh, AgriCision on track uh, guidance system. So we're all powered up. I've got the unit on the bonnet. Uh, we've just come up the lane then on the road, bounced around a bit, and she's still there. So it is, seems pretty secure, does the actual unit on the end of the bonnet there. Magnets seem to be really strong. The moment you kind of hover over the bonnet, it sort of pulls you down. So that seems pretty secure. So we've got the camera set up, uh, we got the mower on the tractor. Uh, to kind of show off the uh, the, the AgriCision on track uh, guidance system, we've got like a, an older style tractor. We've got the good old classic uh, KSH uh, MX uh, 120 Maxim. So basically, just to show you know that it can be used with those you know the older style tractors or simpler tractors that don't necessarily have all the bells and whistles when it comes to guidance systems. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a little play now. So just before we set off, we're going to dive into the app. Uh, so I've kind of set up all my parameters. So you go and implement set first. So we've got this more on with nine foot, 2.7 meters in modern money-ish. So we've set the working width, so we can okay that. Then we swipe over, uh, side offset. What's the offset on that? Uh, we'll go with about 2.8, something like that. And then we go to rear offset. We'll go about four meters to the mower bed. And that's okay, that one's sorted. And then to sort of set off, let's, while we're going around, we might as well do a boundary while we're at it. So boundary set, start, there we go. Right, let's, uh, let's see what it does. There we go. So hopefully you can see that there on my phone. I mean, I'm just using a phone, just an iPhone. Uh, obviously, if you want a bigger screen, you know, stick a tablet in there probably best to use with a tablet but I mean you know it's, this is a nice simple job so I think the phone should uh, do the job for this uh, particular situation so in terms of setup I mean it really couldn't be simpler I mean like I said you literally just put the box 
the actual guidance unit, the light bar, the integrated light bar unit, uh, stick it on the bonnet, in this case, because we've got a metal bonnet, simple magnets, away you go. Like I say, the magnets seem really strong. Turn it on, download the app on your phone, and then activate the app. And then they end up talking to each other via that there Bluetooth, I think. And you're off, it's pretty much simple as that. And then like we've just done then, just as we set off, input the uh, implement parameters. And then if you want as well, uh, like we're doing now, you can uh, map out your field. And I believe once you've mapped it out, you can save it as well. So you can save all your fields to the cloud. Right, so in theory, if we get back to the same point where we started, there we go, a little overlap. Stop. Go to menu, 1.86 hectares this little bit apparently. But like I said, we're sort of working around trees and things. Go into menu, and then boundary set. Save current boundary, yes. Create a new field. Gravel heap. Because this field is behind the gravel heap. Done. Save. There we go, we're in the gravel heap field, 1.86 hectares. Jobs are good in. And then the next menu we'll want, once we've done the uh, headlands, will be the AB line. But we'll just do a few more times around, and then we'll get to the AB line, the straight bits. So while we're going up this side of the field, which is about as straight as a dog's back leg, we might as well set an AB line. So there we go, point A is set. There we go, like a pin drop. And then, now we're in this corner. Set a point B. There we go, that's all the AB line set. So once you've set up your AB line, the box immediately starts uh, telling you which direction you should be in to get on that line. As you can see, we're just still doing the headlands yet, but already I can see the lights on the box are super, super mega bright. They are really punchy. I mean, the sun's just sort of going down a bit now. It's kind of low in the sky. It's a very bright, hot day today. But those LED lights on the box are really standing out. When you do actually get online, on the actually on online, uh, the centre green light uh, goes brighter, and it, like I say, it just really stands out. So really good visual aid, really. Right, so here we go. Let's see if we can get online. Right, so here we go. Right, pick a line, any line. There we go. Bright green, we are on. So at this point, ladies and gents, when I uh, go mowing, this is where I aim for a tree in the distance or something. And now I'm simply following the bonnet. So when you're online, bright green light, when you stray off a bit, you get a little flashing uh, red light. It's three, uh, three red lights either side of the green light. And you literally just drive accordingly. And you can actually adjust the sensitivity as, as well of the actual guidance, which is pretty good. I just had a play with it before and I found it was really sensitive. It's kind of sort of shuffling about quite a lot so i just dialed it down a little bit now for mowing probably once you've actually opened the field up and you've you know you've driven along an a b line you're probably just then more inclined just to follow the crop follow the grass but then when it then comes into its own again is when you open up you know the next bit of the field and then what you'll end up then with is all your uh, all your runs are all then parallel all the way across the field, which the rake man or woman will appreciate greatly. And if they don't, just give them a slap. But as mentioned, uh, it's going to be really interesting. I think it'll really come into its own with you know sl trickier jobs like uh, like fertilizer spreading when you where you have literally no visual reference whatsoever unless you're in slightly longer grass and you can see where your wheel marks are or unless you know the fields inside out 
and for years you've been using the same reference point on the headland be that a bush a gatepost a tree or whatever well this is literally your modern reference point now so we're going to split the field again over this side there we go so we found a line let's follow that if we can so you can see why it's recommended you put it pretty much at the end of the bonnet over the front axle that's the obviously the bit of the tractor that shifts first it's quite funny the first couple of times you use it you find yourself you know when you're opening up a field you literally you're staring at it uh, and until you get to used to the you know its sensitivity and its movement you do put a couple of little wiggles in there but the proof of the pudding will be when we meet that bit over there the first bit that we opened up of course really one of the standout things uh, of this uh, on track device is is literally just the sheer neatness of it all in one box just pop it on the bonnet it's waterproof it's uh i think a charge will last pretty much a full 24 hours you know when you think back to like the old light bar systems you know you'd have to mount something in the cab you'd have to have a little receiver somewhere there'd be cables all over the place it'd need power you know when you you know you compare it to that and it's just so simple just so neat and then the app side of things again it's just it's just simple i mean i don't think they're going to make it much simpler to be honest everything in the app on the screen it's all clear simple icons there's nothing really hidden at all it's, it's literally plug and play that's it away you go and if your phone didn't die as quick as mine does you probably wouldn't need wouldn't even need your blooming uh, phone charger in here either so really you could say this is uh this is the proof of the pudding really where you know the two areas that we've opened up in this field where they meet and we're not a million miles off obviously my offset wasn't entirely bang on but to be honest i'm not too worried about that the key thing as i've already mentioned for, for mowing is everything's parallel across the field from one side to the other now, we're, now obviously if you uh, spend a little bit of time tweaking and getting your offset right you'll get this bang on but like i say for keeping everything straight and parallel from one side of the field to the other spot on great little system so there you go that's the on track guidance system uh, we've now tried it with a little bit of mowing definitely looking forward to trying it out with uh, fertilizer spreading next so we'll see what else we can do with it <laughs>